Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'll call it Phoenix here. I'm on episode number 44 of my Generation Zero Let's Play series. We are going to go do this uh, bike race. That is my plan at the start of this episode. We're going to kill a few hunters over here. We're going to piss them off. Yeah, yeah, come on. All right, let's do it. How is that man's not dead, my dudes? Oops, I was meant to switch ammo. That's what I was trying to do. We really need to get an experimental drop. Gun. Bad. Okay, that's a bit loud for my ears. I'm going deaf. I apologize if you guys and girls are as well. Excuse me. <clears throat> Got the tank in the back. What are you going to do? Is that all of them? Alright, so now on the bike this time, once we pass that starting line, we basically cannot stop. Where's our bike? Back here. Yeah. Supposedly, or from memory, from reading the note, it was like, once we get going, don't stop, pretty much. So we're going to try not to stop. Let's use both the stand kits. Can we get on this? Thank you. So we got to try not to stop, but yeah, my, my crafting storage box is completely full. Uh, it's got 250 in it, which means I guess I'm probably going to run a few more of those base defense missions as well. Okay, we got to go to the bridge. Seems easy enough. Okay, which way do we got to go for that? We just keep going straight through here and then go onto another road. Oh... Oh, this could be a bit of a problem, couldn't it? Awesome! Um... That could make it difficult. Out of all the things that spotted me, it had to be the, the Seeker. Man, I really went the wrong way. I forgot about the fence line. I should have just gone out the main gate. In the first place. I know this now, but it's a bit late for that. We'll just have to slowly traverse over the landscape here. I'm hoping that we... Well, we don't have any combat music, so I think I got far enough away that they kind of forgot about me, which is good. And the weather's turning to crap in-game. What are we fighting? Some runners? I've got an assignment to fight some runners, so I'm okay with that. Ah, damn it. Ah, shot too high. Yeah, I've got an assignment to kill 10 runners, so this is good. Honestly. This is a good thing.
Come on, man. There's supposedly a whole breath button in this game. I don't know what it is, though. Is that all of them? Okay. That seems to be all of them. Holy crap, are we ever going to get to actually do this mission now? Alright, now we're on the other side of the fence. Thank God, let's go. Um, where's the simple meds? Oh uh, yeah, they'll do it. Get on the bike. You know what I absolutely love? At a car, man. At a car. I want a car. You know how awesome it would have been if we got to drive that truck to the uh, to the massive gun? That would have been awesome. I would have loved that. Just use the sled and just shove crap out of the way, man. There's a road to my left, is there not? Yes, there is. Let's use the road. It'd probably be faster. Although this does keep us more hidden. We probably don't want to have too much trouble until we actually are doing the mission itself. I'm pretty sure it's going to lead us past some troubling areas. There's a big boy out there somewhere. I can hear him. There he is. Just a harvester. Just a regular harvester. Oh, we've got a little bit to go. So if it comes out in the 8th and on the 9th of February, it'll be the first video for the landfall update. Hopefully you guys and girls are excited. I watched the trailer for it and it, it looks it looks cool. I hear a big boy over to the right. Sounds like a tank. Oh, he's a little bit close for comfort, honestly. Yeah, let me just take a left up here. Uh, so there's a harvester there. And that's a tank back there, I swear it is. No. Here we go. Alright, let's go. Past the starting line on a bike. What is the starting line considered? The end of the bridge, okay. Let's do it. Reach the first checkpoint. Time left to reach the next checkpoint. Where is it? Oh, wait, what? Oh, it's, it's having me go the... Oh, I started from the wrong direction. Crap. Oh, I better have enough time. What a beautiful day in Generation Zero, huh? What a view. Oh, hopefully that gives me enough time. 37 seconds. Come on, kick it into gear, mate. Kick it into gear. Push, push, push. Uh, hi, how you doing? Alchies. Wow. Little ramp. Huh. Oh, stop bouncing, please. You need to keep your speed up. Don't do that. Oh, God. I'm not going to make it now. Oh, God. Nine, eight. Six. Five. Oh, my God. I'm going to miss out by a second. You're fucking kidding, yeah? Oh, my God. You're actually joking. Because it has me... St I started from the wrong direct... Fuck off. Don't shoot me. Leave me alone. Ow. Man, that sucks. If I'd been going, if I'd realised that it was actually behind me and, and registered in my brain, like I initially thought, we would have been completely fine. Oh, God, that's so annoying. We're going to have these runners chase us for about 45 minutes now as well. Alright, so when I get up near here, I'm just going to pop a med before I pass the starting line.
I want to have health. Alright, let's go. Alright, we should be fine now. Unreal. I can't believe I did that. So hopefully you guys and girls are having an awesome day. As always, thank you for checking out another Generation Zero episode. I truly do appreciate all the love and support on these videos and the love and support on the forest episodes as well. It's been awesome to see that you guys and girls pretty much have been putting out. I really do appreciate that. I really, really do. And if you haven't noticed, you can become a channel member. Just click the join button underneath the video and that helps support the channel. I truly appreciate it. But if you can't, that's fine too. I just appreciate you all watching. Uh, we made it with a good 17 seconds to go this time. Oh, you're joking, yeah? Man, this is, um, this is a bit tight. Hey, leave me alone. Who would want to do this race? Who sits there and goes, you know, it'd be fun racing between a bunch bunch of machines and hoping they don't kill us. Wouldn't that be so fun, guys? That one on fire. Oh god. Oh, oh my god! I just I I grazed the left hand side of it. Like I made it by the length of a bee's dick. I almost fell off of that one to stuff the whole thing. Time left to reach the next checkpoint. A minute and seven seconds? What? Oh, okay. That was just making sure I turned. Alright, line ourselves up and hope I don't... Fuck it up. Oh my god. We're gonna have- how many mobs- or how many- how many mobs? How many machines are we gonna have chasing us by the end of this? There's a harvester or something out to the left as well. Reach the fourth checkpoint. I remember going through here. Hey, dudes. Ow. No! No, 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 no. Let me on the... Oh, my God. Let me on the bike. Let me on the bike. Let me on the bike. Oh, my God. Nah, I fucked it. I fucked it for sure. I slightly clipped something and fell off and now I'm gonna die. Or fail. One of the two. Ouch! Please stop shooting me! You're fucking joking, yeah? Please don't. Oh my god, I'm just making it. Whoo! I forgot I had the EMP rockets on. But it did stop him for long enough for me to maybe kill some things. Can we not? 
Ouch. Alright, fucker. Stop. Stop hitting me. Just for a minute, please. There we go. Christ. Alright, claim our prize. What do we get? A bunch of cycling gear. Some ammo. Uh, cart with food supplies. In the face of adversity. Why do I always get a... In the face of adversity. A shopping cart full of food supplies that you retrieve from the container at Osatungan. As it turns out, Jenny's sister Anna did manage to complete a mission and deliver his cart to the rendezvous point but died from her wounds. Ironically, Jenny herself is the one in desperate need of food right now, together with the rest of the ring fort dwellers. What kind of gun did you give me? That's worse than the one I have. It... Um... In the... In the thing. Oh, that's the weather. I thought it was like something big stomping around near me. I was like, what? Wow, we went all... Okay, we went backwards and came into uh, the Apopelago region. This is guaranteed probably to be... It's either going to be a prototype tank or a hunter. It's a hunter. Figured it might be. Farmlands region, mountains region, has pretty low. So this seems to be, if I'm going to get a reaper to spawn, this seems to be the one to go to. But the problem is, is that's also probably the hardest one to beat the reaper at. Because of the enemies that will spawn. Why is that? Oh, did I accidentally track it? Oh, I tracked it. That's why I was like, why is that on my screen? But it's because I tracked it. That makes sense. Oh, can I, can I, can I, yep. So I think, unless we go to, say, a place we haven't been before... Trying to see... Probably, there's probably ones down here. If we wanted to. Collectibles. Oh, we can just do this. Missions, one of one. Got it, okay. Uh... There's a collectible there. There's a mission here. The Oppressor of Minken. Uh, just looking around. Seeing if there's... What missions are around that we could get done. I'm probably not going to get them all, but... I wouldn't mind getting some of them. Especially if they're just there to do, why not? You know? I guess we could go down here. We could go visit Silvuk. Oh, I did not want to do that. I want to fast travel there. Silvuk. It'd probably be a bit shorter of an episode today anyway. Uh, than the usual, but hopefully you will see multiple videos, landfall update over the next week or so, and you will enjoy them all, I hope.
that is the hope. Alright, uh, let's go out. Uh, let's do this first. Oh, I can't even do that. Alright, I basically have to not pick much up. Otherwise, uh, we're going to be encumbered. And we've got no way to dump stuff except for literally dumping it. I was going to go over there and get the safe house there, but there's a big... Big problem with doing that. And that is that everything's in the way. Although, you know an easy way to get down? Oh, it's not going to kill me. This one will though. I just use the survivor specialization. I know I have to waste some first aid kits on it, but that's okay. Alright, there's a mission right in this house here. No, don't search stuff. You can't carry it. Don't be dumb. Oh, I should do. Use this silence, boy. Alright, what do we got? Newspaper article about one of the targeted assassinations. This is an article written by columnist Maniko Bystrom in the immediate aftermath of the targeted assassinations of the FOA scientists. Two days after the horror, understanding and finding answers, the Ulster Torn region is still in a state of shock and horror after Monday's unprecedented series of assassinations where 14 people passed away. As it is now, now known, the common point between 11 of the victims that were employees of the same department of the Swedish Defence Research Institute, FOAY. This is the biggest question, all their close ones, and any concerned citizen is asking. I believe us journalists have a duty, and my long-term readers will know how dedicated I am to finding out the truth, even if that means stepping on some toes. Two employees of that division are still missing. Veronica Nilsson, 26, computer engineer living in Calaby, and Dr. Hakan Peterson, 58. Peterson is a respected surgeon who once worked in the Ulstervik Medical Center before accepting a job at the FOA. Find Dr. Dr. Harkin Peterson's house, which I assume is apparently not here. Oh my god, it's all the way down there. Oh shit, man, I guess I'm fast traveling here. What it sound like I swam. Now I wonder, right? When you teleport, I wonder if it does what I think it does, where it kind of like it. it oh, well, I guess it's probably a teleportation, just like to a uh, a com. A, Oh, that's the word I'm looking for. You teleport to a certain position based on numbers, right? But I wonder if it is a straight-up teleport, whether it takes your character out and moves it over to that part, or whether you travel as in you actually move through the map to that position. And that's why sometimes you hear certain noises and stuff, because it's your body passing through the, the ground to that position. I'm not sure. That is... Korsberger Fort. Oh, that's where we... This is where we killed the... A tank and stuff. I remember this. I don't want to go in it. I want to go over it. Yeah, there was a tank inside here. We fought him right there. I mean, I know it would take a lot of, oh, like, a lot of game performance impact, but imagine if the, the machine stayed there and slowly rotted over time. The ones you killed. Now, I don't know whether that's a thing that happens or whether all the machines that are, like, destroyed are already, all, like, modelled there and purposely put there. But wouldn't it be cool to be running past an area that you haven't been to in, like, a month and you see this rusted old machine from, a, like, a tank or a harvester or something that you killed? And it's just rotted away and been slightly stripped of components and stuff. I think that would be a really cool thing to see. It would just add some depth. But it might be a little bit hard to do without uh, having a lot of performance impact issues. But I think it would be really cool to see the harvester over there. I thought I had my rifle on that second slot, so I pulled it out. But I did not have my rocket. It's 
surprised we haven't really ran into anything, to be honest. No, no missions at this settlement? Okay. I guess not every settlement's going to have a mission. Let's go in and get the safe house unlocked. What do you got? Rifle silencer. Oh, schematic. Camouflage jacket. What? Where is it? It is in here, right? Oh, do I have to go up top? Yeah, there we go. You gotta go to a, a very particular spot sometimes to actually be able to get it to count. Uh, we still gotta go a fair way down this way to actually go to his house. It's not even in this settlement itself. All the way at the bottom left edge of the map. Now I wanna loot all this stuff, but I'll have to come back at a later point when I have the storage space to be able to loot it all. Even though it slightly pains me to run past all this stuff and be like, oh, I should really check it, but, you know, if you don't have space, man, to put it, you don't have space. I know, I know in the comments have been said I should make a mule character, and I really want to try avoiding doing that, because then it means bits and pieces are over here and bits and pieces are over there. I want it all on the one character, right? I would rather mod it so everything is on the one character than do that. You're actually joking, yeah? How did they miss me? Okay, they didn't miss me this time. I've never seen enemies pass that close to me before without actually shooting at me. That was so strange. I don't really have a view at them, so I'm going to move so I can actually get line of sight on them. Freaking things running from me, man. Alright, we're almost there. I know we'd have to fight something at some point. What do we got down here? What is this? I see that down there. I'm going to quickly dip down here so it shows up on my map. I assume it's something that can show up on my map. Ah, uh, cool. It is indeed. Shows me the ferry. It's a landmark rather than a place I can actually, like, fast travel to. Oh, fuck. Easy. What the frick? Please die. Thank you. I killed him. What do you mean? 
Did that one not count? Or have we got another one in here somewhere? Oh, we have another one. There we go. Find clues and supplies in the house. You mean find stuff that's going to make me encumbered in the house? Nope. Oh. God, I wish that thing would get off my screen. Find a key to the locked room in the house. Key. Key used to unlock the bedroom. Very insightful. Investigate the locked room. What is over there that wants me so badly? Ah, oh, shit. What happened, man? Well, that looks not good. Read. Huckin Peterson's journal. Never works, man. Never works. Why does it never work? Is it to the lighthouse? There we go. Wait, what? I don't get to read the book? The last entry in Huck and Peterson's Entry reads, 20th October 1989, today I performed the surgery on Svan von Ulmer as requested by himself and Dr. Ingrid Grunvist. And it is a success so far. His vitals are stable and he feels fine, but his immune system is predictably weak. We are monitoring him 24-7 and taking steps to prevent his condition from worsening while ensuring to not trigger a cytokine storm. It's a fine line to walk. Ingrid's program has started together with our computer person, Miss Nielsen. They're keeping an eye on his brain through the EEG prototype and neurologically everything is in order. Mmm. Is there a... There's actually a mission in this town, huh? I can see it on my map. I'm not going to do another one this episode, but I, I like collecting them. What I might do is, like, collect some... Uh, See, I always want to collect them off camera, but then I feel like you guys and girls miss out sometimes on, on things that can happen, you know? I don't want you to miss out on anything. I don't know. Maybe I should just collect a bunch off camera and then just do them all in an episode or something, like a bunch of them in a row. Another safe house unlocked with, I guess, a mission up here. Interesting. This is Sergeant Johan Anderson, 3rd Platoon. We located the enemy reinforcements at the small battalion in Marina. Almost half the goddamn platoon is gone. We managed to lure the machines inside a storage facility for now. But we can't tell how long that will hold them over. Okay. So it does it's good how the missions definitely take you to places you probably haven't been. That's that's a nice little touch that they they definitely have got a got right. Is that they always seem to go to places that I haven't visited. So it works out convenient for me because it, it, it allows me to unlock more things on the map regularly. Pretty much. That's generally how it works. I'm going to go to my usual safe house position, which is the command bunker up the top here. Now, I think the new DLC takes part in the marshlands from the look of the trailer. So that's, you know, another area that probably doesn't really get used a ton. So it's good to see that they kind of push the players that direction. And hopefully at some point this year there'll be a new DLC with new maps and stuff like that. I would really would like that. Very much so. So anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Generation Zero in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Consider becoming a channel member and I hope you all have a lovely day. Alright, peace!